Uh oh, we have a code Adam. Uh yeah, we have a Jim Wilson on board the plane. Have you ever heard these codes come from a pilot and thought, what do they mean? A lot of the time, pilots will use the plane's intercom to talk to other crew members on board. They may say many things that sound random to the passengers. But these are often very scary codes, and if you learn them, you'll know exactly what pilots are saying. These are codes that pilots and airlines do not want the passengers to know, but I think you guys have a right to know them. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at some codes pilots don't want you to know. But before we take off on top 10 airlines, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have 7500. This may seem like a string of random numbers, but if you ever hear this, then you're in trouble. One of the biggest issues during an in-flight emergency is a pilot not being able to communicate the emergency to other people on the plane. Of course, I don't mean the passengers, but instead the crew, and more importantly, air traffic control. Sometimes they haven't been able to do this, and army jets have not been scrambled. The plane then has the emergency, and it simply crashes to the ground. Well, one of the worst codes you could hear over the intercom is 7500. This means the plane has been hijacked. A lot of the time during plane hijackings, the passengers don't even know. That's because they may use a threat to try and keep all of the crew quiet. And sometimes hijackings can even come from a co-pilot or a crew member themselves. So if you ever hear 7500 on an intercom, then it's time to panic. Next up is Code Adam. In 1981, a boy named Adam Walsh was taken from a convenience store. Someone had sadly taken him from his mother and then took his life. The terrible crime inflicted on this six-year-old boy shocked the entire country. But that's why we now have Code Adam on airplanes. Code Adam means that there's a missing child on the plane. Now, this could either mean that a child has been taken from a parent on the plane, or it means someone's taken a child and they're trying to get away with them on the plane. According to the Center for Missing Children, this happens quite a lot. So if you ever hear Code Adam on the plane, it means a child is being taken. Next up is 7600 or 7700. Depending on the pilot's training and their airline, they may use either of these two codes, but they mean the same thing. Hearing these codes means that there's a radio failure or a loss of communication. Pilots obviously can only see so much. A lot of the information that's required to fly a plane comes from air traffic control. And of course, their screens which show the radar of other planes in the sky are also crucial. But if you hear these codes, it means one or both of these communication channels is not working. And if you're wondering how pilots remember these codes, there's actually a rhyme. It goes 75 taken alive, 76 technical glitch, 77 going to heaven. Yeah, that is pretty scary and not what you want to hear on a flight. Next up is Jim Wilson. This may sound absolutely stunning, but sometimes people pass away on board a flight. Every year, about 50 people pass away mid-air. This can simply be from old age or maybe a heart attack on board. Some people even pass away from peanut allergies from people bringing food onto the plane. But the secret code used by airline staff when a passenger's passed away is Jim Wilson. To avoid alarming other passengers, they'll simply say there's a Jim Wilson on board. This may also refer to a body in the cargo. That's right, along with your suitcases, there may be a few bodies in the cargo. Think about it, if somebody passes away on vacation, then they need to be taken back to their home turf. And there's no special planes that do this. In fact, commercial planes do it every single flight. It's said that on about 10% of all flights, there's a body being transported below. And that body is often referred to as Jim Wilson. Next up is Code Bravo. Code Bravo is another very scary code you do not want to hear. This is actually a code to distract passengers. The flight crew will use this phrase to distract any passengers from actual danger. That way the passengers are focused on something else and not the real danger. And thus the pilots and crew can take care of that without any interference. One big issue when there's a danger on board is passengers trying to be heroes and butting in and getting in the way. So to prevent this, Code Bravo is what's said. Next up is Air Pocket. If you hear on the intercom that we're approaching an air pocket, then hang on. Make sure your seatbelt is buckled and maybe pull out the vomit bag. That's because an air pocket means you're going to experience some extreme turbulence. Basically, an air pocket is a nicer way of referring to having a very bumpy ride. And they use this code because many passengers are scared of turbulence. Next up is Blue Juice. No, this isn't some kind of delicious secret cocktail only the pilots know about. 
In fact, blue juice refers to the toilet water on the plane. For example, if they say we have a problem with the blue juice, this means the toilet water spilled out. Also, if you hear the phrase we're dumping the blue juice, it means they're letting the toilet go over the sea. This is actually how they empty airplane toilets a lot of the time. But according to airline attendants, the toilet water is the same water that you drink. I've covered this in many videos before, but that's the reason why no crew on a plane will ever drink water, tea or coffee. Next up is Crotch Watch. Okay, that's kind of a crude code, but it's actually something only the crew knows about. If a pilot says this, it's basically asking the airline attendants to check everyone's wearing a seatbelt. It may not be eloquent, but it gets the point across to the crew that they need to check everyone is wearing a seatbelt. You may think that's kind of pointless, because in a plane crash, a seatbelt may not help all that much. But it's a legal requirement for them to check that every passenger is buckled up before they take off. Next up, we have All Cool. If you hear all call, cool, this means something may be very, very wrong. For example, a pilot may say flight attendants, doors to arrival, cross check and all call. According to one former pilot, this means that they want kind of a conference call for all the flight attendants. The pilots may want to tell them some new information which has just come up. Or maybe they want to gather all the flight attendants to tell them that an emergency landing will have to take place. Either way, when you hear all call, it basically means all crew report to the cabin. Next up is last minute paperwork. If you hear this phrase, then get ready to make yourself comfortable. This code means that there's an issue with the plane before taking off. This is usually something major, like an issue with the plane's weight and balance. This means the plane may need to be adjusted and it will take a long time. Sometimes last minute paperwork can mean a two to three hour delay. This is because they may need to reconfigure the entire plane's hydraulics. But it's a good thing that the pilot spotted this, as if they didn't, the plane could fall out of the sky. Next up is holding pattern. If you hear holding pattern, then you'll be in the air, but it means you won't be landing anytime soon. A holding pattern is basically a number eight shape that the plane will have to fly in. That's simply because there's delays on the airport's runway. There are too many planes on the runway thanks to delays or bad weather, so the plane can't land. So that's why the plane simply has to fly in the number eight shape above the airport until it's able to land. So if you hear the code holding pattern, get comfortable. You're gonna be in the air for a long time. And finally, we have ground stop. If you hear the code ground stop, then get comfortable. This yet again means there's delays and you won't be taking off for a long time. This is normally because of traffic backlog. For example, if one plane gets delayed, all of the other planes get delayed after it. So when this happens, there can be a ground stop, meaning that lots of planes have stopped on the ground. So now you know all the pilot codes, from the scary to the funny to the just plain weird. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner. Have you ever had an in-flight emergency on one of your planes? If you guys want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.